Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, it's daytime, you should not be doing this to me. Um, excuse me. <laughs> welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. We're here on the world as always. You know what? This path is so old. Now that we got grass path, I need to change this. Um, so, I, of course, I've been working around on the house in the past few days because um i've just been really busy with work mostly and i haven't been able to upload but um here i am um so as you can see over here i have been working on the house well not the house this is the workshop as you guys know got the roof on i got it furnished a bit but I was off i've also been working on this like pathway um i got it coming around here now it goes over there got this nice little staircase here now and um this little thing right here I found this cave right here. Um, I kind of dug this out and put an entrance right here. I call it the Eight Mine because it's an Eight Mine. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I call it the Eight Mine because there's a lot of andesite, diorite, and granite, and it, like it all ends in ITE. So I just went with Eight Mine, as you can see right up here. Um, the reason I'm going to call it that is because whenever I need this in the future, I know where to come to find it, um, and it goes on way over that way too. So yeah thought that was kind of interesting um and i found this other cave and i have a new awesome project i want to work on with you guys um which we really need to get our project board going soon so we can put all of our projects on um but this staircase here if you want to know how to build it it took me a while to think of a diagonal staircase that was not weird because if you do slabs diagonal you kind of stop every so often going up it but this one is three uh cornered stairs and you just keep going up like that and then you put a slab on each side then i went ahead and put two stacked uh, logs on each side and that's how that turned out i thought it turned out nice um got the path going up here now as you know if you didn't see last episode this is going to be our new workshop um and out towards this way is going to be our uh like our um uh I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the name, but it's just where we're going to uh, keep like the live. That, that, there it is. Livestock. I couldn't remember that name ever. Livestock. It's going to go out there. Like big farms of cows and sheep. Um, but here's the inside so far. It's not all the way finished. Um, I'm just trying to furnish it a little bit. I wanted to make it feel very homey in here, if you know what I mean. Um, so. Okay, I was just looking at some. Um, so we're going to have an enchantment table right here. We got a full one going. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm just making like, I'm making it feel a little, like I said, home in here. So there's going to be a lot of decorations and stuff. There's like a bar that I'm going to have some stuff on maybe. Tables. Right over here, I might put some brewing stands up around in this corner. I got some carpets down. I'm going to have a big thing of storage here, which I'm already starting to fill it up and whatnot. Um... And then we have like, yeah, I think you've already seen this. I'm not for sure. But we have like a little back entrance over here. Now I see some cows over there. I might go ahead and start gathering some livestock so I can start breeding them and get the farms going. Um, but there's a few other things I want to work on as well. Such as like a new project, which I thought was really cool. This giant mine, not mine, but it's going to be this giant hole right here. I want to make a mine here, like a giant crane tower, like a couple of them. Like ho like hoisting up some rocks from here, and we're gonna have a lot of mine tracks down here, going through the mines and whatnot. I thought that would be a great project idea. I'm gonna do that. I gotta get rid of all the snow still. Whew! I'm out of breath already. <laughs> There's a lot of talking. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go out there with all the livestock and start gathering them up. I'm n I'm just gonna make a. A simple little thing to put them in for now um, but in the future we're gonna change it so I'm gonna go work on that and then I'll update you guys after I get some of the guys breeded or bred all right there back. man I am so stupid <laughs> I'm going through all my chests thinking I only have four wheat I'm like crap how am I going to do all this like breed all of them and I completely forgot about our farms like since the last time we've harvested like these was the last time I harvested them. Um, <laughs> look at all this. Ah, shut the door. No, <laughs> uh, we got so. M yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all this. Actually, do I have any in here? No. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna harvest all this and see what we get afterwards. Yeah, 
I say we got a good haul this season. <laughs> um, we got a lot of crops from that. Um, but how many poisonous potatoes? Did we, oh, we got three. Huh. Yeah, so this little thing right here where I'm holding it for now, I'm probably going to have to change this sometime soon because... Like, this is a lot of crops for one harvest, <laughs> and if I keep doing this, this I'm going to run out of room within no time at all. So, that's going to be another thing I need to write down on my uh, project list, is to make like a, like, a, like a house or something, or a place to put this stuff. Because <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to put all this. So, I think this is a good source of food too. How much steak do I got? I'm just going to bring a stack of carrots just because we got our wheat, what we came for. Um, I really need to get rid of the snow too because this does not go good with crops. <laughs> oh man, I still need to finish the roof. Jeez, man. We're so behind on that. Um, and over Oh crap, yeah, I better harvest this as well. Alright, after this, we'll be out. And, ow, what? What are you doing? No, he's going to trample my crops. I hate it when they do this, man. Get out of here. Yeah, you see, he crit. Oh, wait, no. We're good. We're good. Oh, no, right here. <laughs> all right. Oh, my gosh. They're all out of order. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So, I got some sheep going here. Um, I found four of them way out there. I just breeded them. So, we got now six of them. But I've only found one cow. I've looked absolutely everywhere. And it's just this one lonely guy. Because, as you guys know, we had... A little cow farm going under my house way over on the other side of this part um, but as I said before I accidentally killed off all the mothers and if you do that or mothers and fathers and if you leave the babies there and you leave they kind of just despawn because they need like parents to live off of I think um, but yeah that's that and I didn't even mention I took off my d-pad again because with this new update it is really our screen is like very very cluttered and when I watch my video back on YouTube it's just I don't like how much stuff is on the screen so I went ahead and took that off again um, including the sneak button and the pause and chat button um, oh yeah and as well if you guys remember what was in this biome right here this right here was called a sunflower like plains biome um, and standing right here there would have been tons of sunflowers but as you can see my inventory I got Oh, almost like four and a half stacks and that is insane and there's still more oh I missed a couple as well laying on the ground yeah there's some down there um, there's some way over here I'm not going to take all of them um, I'm gonna leave those over there because I just got rid of this area because this is where like our main livestock is gonna be going um, so with that plan I'm going to take my sunflowers and make a new sunflower area I actually want to look how good it looks when they're all bunched together, like really close. So let's say I did something like this. Does it look too like organized? Because that's not what I would want. Yeah. I kind of wish uh, they were off centered of the block a little bit, kind of like grass does, if you know what I mean. It's not always centered because then it would kind of give it a more jumbled look. But when it's like, oh, it is. Oh, never mind. Yeah, because you can see this third one back there is a little off. Awesome. Yeah, so I can do it like this, and it will not feel, like, too straight, and if you know what I mean. Yeah, as you can see, they're all off-centered. All right, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm literally going to clear out a whole area somewhere and just, like, make a sunflower's <laughs> plain biome. I'm not sure where, but I'll figure out a place. Alrighty, so I got some more work to do. Be right back. Alright, so got some sheep, some cow, and some pigs. Um, we're all ready to go. I'm not going to mess with chickens right now because we have our little chicken egg farm over there. But actually, I am going to make a chicken farm over here. That farm over there, if you know what I'm talking about, is an egg farm. So that's where I go to gather eggs. But this chicken farm I'm going to make over here is for... Uh, gathering chicken and feathers because we well, obviously need a supply of feathers and there's no other way to get in the game but chickens so that's why we're gonna have a couple of them um, so right now I over the time I have gathered a lot of sugarcane and a lot of leather so I'm gonna go out of my way to gather it all and 
hopefully get some bookshelves to help complete our library and I'm going to do that with you guys so I got a lot of leather all over the place so we're going to be running to a bunch of different places real quick um, did I pass anything else up in here okay no I just it's hard to remember what exactly I need when I'm looking for it I don't have much in these chests oh yeah there we go that was a decent amount um, up here, no. Right up here, no. Okie dokie. Am I too full? No. Alright. Because some of these bookshelves right here I stole from the library because I really wanted to get it finished in there. Um, now we're going to run over to the sugarcane farm. Let's see how fast this stuff has already grown. Yeah. Oh my god, it's already almost fully grown. It's like halfway there. And same as here, look, all the melons are already grown. Just imagine... If I have, like, I have a, an automatic harvester, which I know how to do, <clears throat> excuse me, for these, I would put pistons under them, and I know how to make, like, let's say, a 10-minute clock or something like that, or maybe five minutes. Um, it'll send a pulse to the pistons, and it'll all pop up, and if we had hoppers, it would collect them, uh, and, uh, like, that's automatic harvesting, so I wouldn't have to do anything, so just imagine <laughs> how much we would have with these types of farms. So, if pistons and comparators and repeaters and hoppers all that good stuff comes to this soon maybe we can actually start doing some automatic farming because one of my favorite automatic farms um, even though sugar cane is not that useful it is for bookshelves and cakes and whatnot um, but I love making this tall tower that's an automatic sugar cane harvester is the funnest thing ever <laughs> well it's not the funnest thing ever to make but it's really cool because when it, it looks like a giant robot, really. The things you can create in Minecraft, and just considering it would be Minecraft Pocket Edition, it would be a really cool <laughs> machine to make. I can't wait until I just bring some cool redstone projects to this world. This world has come really far. I went back a few episodes the other day, and I, well, yeah, and watched like episodes 1 through 10. Um, <laughs> we've come a long way, actually. So, mob drops. I should have some in here. No, I think I took them out, actually. So, what else do we need in here? No. Okay, we need paper. And, okay, I'm losing it. I, I'm kind of lost in what I'm looking for now. Oh, yeah. I know somewhere where I have more leather, but I can't think of it. Let's go down here. Whee! Oh, there's two. <laughs> Yay. Maybe out here? I don't know. Yeah, this is the problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, all that snow. I might get rid of all that because it was all obviously cheated in. But I really... Oh, looky there. Whoa, what is this stuff doing in here? We have a lot of useful stuff in these chests because, if you don't know, these are our first chests we laid down in this world. Oh, look, one of our first stone cutters. We still got saddles in here, too. Oh, we got, we got a lot of... Oh, man. Some of that dye would have been useful. I'm going to look through here just in case. More dye. Uh, from some of our first lava buckets. Those lava buckets actually burned down our house. So it was literally right there. Because if you remember, I was trying to put them right in the end of this tube thing. So it can burn the mobs as they go down. And um, <laughs> it burned down my house. Luckily, I backed it up. I actually haven't backed up this world in a while. So I better do that after this episode. All right, let's go up to the library and do this. Right around here. What's in here? Nothing. Yeah, I don't like these leaves here. <laughs> I tried to just decorate with some leaves around, but I didn't like that. Oh, I had a lot of I had a lot of paper in here. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Oh, squeaky chair. My bad. Yeah, I gotta get a new chair. So I need to make a lot of books. Is that a decent amount? I don't know. I know I have more leather somewhere, I just can't think of it. Yeah, because that was all of our leather right there. Now, now we can see how many bookshelves we can make. Ten bookshelves! whoop de doo Well, that might replace what I took. Yeah, I took this whole stack thing right here. It doesn't even complete it. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, that was a fail. I have leather more somewhere, but now that we have... 
this cow farm going and this cow farm is not going to go bad because when i say a cow farm goes bad um i'd kill them all off and leave like two there and then i'd forget to breed them and then like it was very unusual actually they're probably ready to breed right now i just recently bred them but uh more sheep want to join yeah oh my gosh i literally just bred these guys you can see there's still like a bunch of babies in there any more? There must be one more because there's or unless a baby grew up. What about you? You? What about you? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Alright. What about you guys? You ready? Oh man, these are already ready. Already ready. <laughs> there we go. What about you piggies? Oh yeah, there's literally just a few. Oh. No, I literally those are the last ones I just spread. Alrighty. That is that. Um well, what is this? I might have to do an episode where we go exploring these caves because I don't even know if we have done this a lot. Whoa, what? Whoa. Do I have any torches? I think we explored this like a tiny bit a long time ago, and that was when torches lit up really bad. Oh, there's some good ore in here we can grab. This might connect to that little area where I want to turn into the big mine system, so I might keep this here. And the whole idea of that we're actually going to do kind of a role play thing. Yeah, it's right here. Where we're going to start off with some mine carts. And all of the iron you see, this is Etho Lab's idea. A lot of people like this idea because it was really creative of him to think of. Um, every mine cart in, I mean, track you create has to be from the iron you collect in the mine. So it makes it like a real life mining experience, kind of. Um, so as we go through this mine, we'll just have... To collect this and turn it into a minecart but for all we know this can probably be a really crappy mine <laughs> not really big at all so we might just turn it into like a mine that we can just look at because i've always created some in my worlds like that what's down here a wooden block that was probably where her water source was um yeah so i don't know how far we are into the episode we're decently there um and another, I think I want to do this next episode. This is kind of random, but um, I have a lot of areas where I've like dug up, and I saw this in an episode, like an episode like freaking eleven of this, a long time ago. I'm gonna run over here real quick and look because I have a lot of areas where I dug up from something in this world because I had like I was caving and I had too much stuff on me, so I just dug straight up and pillared, and I never went back down there to like gather the rest of the things. So, and I remember one was like in the middle of this. If you see any cobblestone, it's probably under this ice for all I know. Yeah, I need to get rid of this ice too. It's, I don't like the winter feel a whole lot. Come on. There has to be a cobblestone somewhere. Don't disappoint me. Where is it? Wait, I want to test this. Does Silk Touch pick this up? Oh, it does. Wow. Oh, come on. Or I might have... I might have replaced it with... Oh, wait, let me dig down one more. I might have replaced it with a dirt because it looked out of place. Ugh. Come on! <laughs> this is like... We're treasure hunters. We got to find this. Oh my gosh, where is it? Come on. I know it's down here somewhere. Really, it isn't? I could have swore, go back to like, uh, I don't want to make you guys do that. There was an episode where I dug straight up and I came out of this river area. And, alright, I'm just wasting my time now, sorry guys. I thought I, I, can't, I could have swore I would have found it. Yeah, no cobblestone, that sucks. Should I make the river this deep? Like go through and actually make it kind of deep? I might do that. I don't know. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, oh, I gotta get rid of this sheep farm, actually. We might need to put a fountain here or something. I want to decorate this area like these patches. Alrighty. Bye-bye. <laughs>